a big assumption a lot of trainers make and a lot of teachers make as well is that um, I, I teach, you learn, which means that uh, the, the person doing the training will stand up there and speak for a long, long time and they expect the, uh, the people in the audience, the trainees, the learners to just absorb that knowledge and that way that they will learn. Actually, we, we learn through, uh, through creating things and through making things our own. And so we, uh, as a, a trainer or a teacher, we don't have to stand up there and feel that it's our responsibility to be doing m the majority of the talking in any training or te teaching situation. But actually, a much better thing to do is to get the trainees to do the majority of the, uh, of the, of the learning themselves whilst you just stand back and help kind of facilitate things. And um, a very simple example is just a, a little way that I changed um, a part of my training a little while ago is I was delivering a, uh, a training on presentations and I was talking about how uh, you can uh, how how the environment will affect your presentation. How using the projector in the right right way, maybe laying out the tables, adjusting the temperature. How these things affect your presentations. And normally, when I when I did this, I would normally just stand there and talk and share my experience and my ideas and hope that the trainees would uh, would gather this. But as a very slight change this time, I. Um, I asked the trainees to take some post-it notes and then to walk around the room and write these notes and, and stick these notes on any items that they think will have an effect on their presentations. And it was interesting when we did this because uh, during the rundown, for example, when we went to look at the, uh, the room temperature gauge, um, one trainee would say you have to adjust the temperature so you don't sweat when you're giving a presentation. Another would say that you have to adjust the temperature so the audience don't fall asleep. Another would say that you have to show the audience that you're adjusting the temperature so that they, they see that, uh, that you are showing care towards the audience. And so an important thing that I learned about this was that um, by getting trainees to do the majority of the talking, the majority of the learning, whereas I just guide and provide context for them, that way they are learning the same thing from multiple contexts as opposed to where, where I just talk, they're learning one thing from, from one perspective. So getting everyone involved and stepping back more and simply guiding it as opposed to lecturing. So less is actually more and has a much stronger effect on the learning impact on the people in the audience.